Hello everyone, and welcome back to Serious Sam 4, where today we'll be playing Chapter 13, Anathema Unto God. Father, did I tell you about how lizards rule the world? Ruled if you mean dinosaurs. Although I thought you said they were hoax. No, no, I meant rule. Most of our leaders are descendants of lizard people from the planet Sirius. Didn't you tell me that world was ruled by Illuminati? Well, yeah, I... Uh, I haven't quite worked that out. Keep moving. That Ark isn't gonna find itself. I like his little paranormal investigator hat. I need to get myself a hat like that. Where am I? Okay. You I, know, Father, <laughs> I spun I around too quickly and I got lost immediately. Seriously. We all try to find meaning. And how do you find meaning, Father? I eat. I pray, I shoot. We all got our ways. Now it's been a bit. It's been a bit since I played this. I mean, that's I, I've I've been saying this every time because it's always at least a week. But this time it's been like a week and two days. So if I get lost immediately due to my own movement, that's on me. But until then, we're just gonna move around, look at the sights, grab whatever pink flashing items may be looking at us at any point in time. Surely, there must be something in this place, because it's too easy to jump on stuff. And usually if I have to put a lot of effort into jumping on stuff, there isn't any stuff. But this time, it's easy to jump on stuff. So that's why I think there might be stuff. Although this, that's not solid. Okay. I'm certain we're going to find some great treasures in this place. The thing that says where to go is immediately out of the way from all these wonderful things, like the heart. This is once again another level with a lot of secrets, if I, uh, if I recall correctly. 26. Pretty reasonable amount for any level, really. After the roughly the same amount on the previous level. So there's a good chance we're going to be spending a similar amount of time in this place. And I hope you all are ready for that. I love the music so far. Big fan. Let's keep that in there. I just don't really want to get into a battle because it would stop this music and that would be unfortunate. Curious about one thing before I move on. And that's... Can I go here? Yes. Is this... No. <laughs> I was, I was so close to asking, is this good? And then immediately my question was answered. At least Father Mikhail followed me here, but I feel like that was just significantly too easy. To just jump out of that place, you know? I might have to... I, I haven't even seen an enemy yet and I'm already tempted to load the game, but... Let's see where we can go. Surely there's gotta be some place where we can just... Sort of shimmy our way back into the level again. I'm feeling pretty confident about this stuff. I don't know if I've even saved the game yet. Alright, there's this little wall here. We can jump on this. This has potential. I think we might be able to <laughs> re-enter the level again. If, if, I lo if I lose Father Mikhail again, due to my shenanigans, because I did enjoy having the NPCs around, I might still load a quick save. Okay, that one followed me. We lost the other- No, no, the other one followed me as well. Alright, good. We're back together. We're in full force. We got an extra life. Let's just- Let's just move on. Wow, even when you're just here, the, the, this building's not loading entirely. Maybe I'm still out of bounds. Just without even realizing it. What are bounds, anyway? Maybe I'm just not supposed to be in this game. There's a fair chance that's what's going on. Hello, friends. I guess I should be using dual dual barrel shotgun because I have I do remember that being the, the perfect strategy against any fight really so let's keep that in there I'm curious about what's behind all this stuff because there's a closed door and it doesn't seem like there's nothing there yep is this partially solid is this a tree what is what is happening here is this a tree I ask a piece of wood it did not respond an unusual circumstance for certain. I need to remember this. I will forget about this almost certainly, but surely there is some way for, for things there. Let's just go. Where do I go? Oh, there's a road there. I've really only been noticing this 
Like, surely that can't be the way I'm supposed to go, but it's an option. There's something there. It's a good thing I came from that direction, because I would have missed it otherwise, I think. This is the strat. I just bait enemies, and then they all just run into this tight corridor. There's plenty of bullets. I will get to you. There is an enemy still here, and he's going woo. Woo, woo, woo. Please stop wooing. I have a hacked drone to acquire. This was last of them. <laughs> yes, thank you, father. Now, is this a jumping puzzle? Yes. Questions immediately answered. I love those. <laughs> Look at that. Easiest jumping puzzle of my life. That still doesn't quite explain this here. This is going to keep me occupied for a while. Unless I can just jump on this wall as well. Seeing as I've been able to jump on everything else so far. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing some weird sliding over here, but it was still very easy to get on top of this. Um, I'm just checking, just making sure, because I think that's where I'm eventually supposed to go, and I think this just sort of loops in on itself. So most likely, I'll be able to get here normally in a second. I'm just going to check this place out. Oh. Apparently that was a secret area, so yeah, kinda I was supposed to go here anyway. It was actually all part of the plan. Very good. I like options, and this level's already giving me a whole bunch of options, even though I have barely left the starting area, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much, game. It also reminds me that I have to look back every now and then, because if I don't, I'm gonna miss out on secrets. And I don't want to miss out on secrets, even though I will. I have, I suppose, come to terms with the fact that I'm gonna miss out on secrets. But I'd rather not. So I will try my best. I suppose the best way to not miss out on secrets is to just look them up. But I also want to look for stuff. I also want to jump on this weird baby's head so I can get on top of the different things, but... I mean, sometimes you just can't get everything, you know? Sometimes, uh, you get what you can take. I might destroy the baby. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tempted. What? And to hear you put an invisible wall? That's just odd at this point. I've jumped over so many things now. Why block me in this particular place? I can probably get around this. I'm actually getting surprisingly high up by just jumping on top of that wall. I'm actually a little curious if I can just... Oh, well, they, they did make a pretty... pretty good invisible wall on this one. They, they tried. <laughs> it's just a bit unusual that it's so inconsistent. But what are you gonna do? But I am almost certainly able to just get on top of this wall, go all the way around. But you know what? I'm just gonna give him... I'm just gonna give him this one, I think. Yeah, you, you sure stopped me from going in that place. Oh, good job. I'm proud of you, son. And then in their mind, they're probably saying, thanks, dad. And that's good enough for me. Sometimes you gotta let them fly and make their own mistakes, you know? Like a bird. Serious Sam 4, like a bird. It is basically confirmed at this point. Now, as long as I just don't forget about that, it's supposed to loop in on itself and that I should be able to get to that cool gate in a minute, then we'll be good. Like, how, how easy is this? I mean, I suppose there's a secret up there. But it's just a little surprising in many ways. <laughs> the places you can reach by doing these kind of things. Maybe it is all intended. I just don't know anymore. Gotta quickly check out the gadget real quick. Haven't done that in a while. That's definitely the first life power-up I've picked up in this level, after all. I hear a radio. Every time I hear a radio, I'm already, like, a little mad. Not even for any good reason at this point. I'm just tired of hearing sad Bill Corwin's voice. I just want to maybe just have a more joyful radio presenter. I'm also a little bit scared that that statue is going to come to life soon, but that's probably just on me again. It just has that vibe, you know? Like, like the kind of statue that's going to attack me. Yeah, didn't even die. Did it shrink? No, I'm just seeing things at this point. Also, someone reminded me that I have this thing still. I completely forgot. There's so many gadgets. Like, with all the new weapons and, like, additions to weapons that they've added, I will forget everything. May they find rest and peace. Indeedly do. But yeah, there's a good chance that I'm not going to use many weapons. Although in the last level I also kind of forgot to use the laser gun. 
uh, beyond like the first acquisition of said laser gun, so really that one was on me, but there's a good chance I'm gonna forget to use so many things. And you know what? That's how it's gonna be. I'm a forgetful person. I'm continuously doing stuff. Uh, <laughs> that's why you gotta look back every now and then. Because there's something on top of this... Oh, that's all the way over there? Oh, God. Is that a later thing? This is already starting to feel like a later thing. You know what? I'm sure we'll see that in a minute, because... It's not like I'm supposed to... Like, let's just do the weird slidey thing. This, this worked out pretty well the first time. Why is it that I can do these jumps exactly once? <laughs> then, and whenever I try it again, it's like it doesn't work anymore. But it does. Like, how reasonable would it be to see... I don't even remember where it is anymore. It's up there. Maybe I really am supposed to jump on top of all these ridiculous places. That's actually kind of cool. It just surprises me because, again, the inconsistency of it all. If it was consistent going out of bounds, but oh look, there's an item here, they expected it. It would be like, alright, cool, that's actually pretty neat. But it's more just a case of, you know what? Let's just put a time bomb over there, whatever that thing's called. And, uh, call it a day. If it's not even a secret area, I'm actually gonna laugh, like, obnoxiously. But it was. It was a secret area, at least. But it's all just a little bit unusual. And I assume if I try to jump towards that rooftop... No, I, I fell down. But I assume it's not gonna work great. Yeah, look, there's like even little rocks and things to make sure you can actually get out after you fall down. Like, they put some effort into this place. So they know. They know what they're doing. They, well, they got a reasonable idea. Uh, let me... I'm actually struggling a bit to actually get out of this place. I mean, they put the rock here. I appreciate that much. It's not quite... It's not quite getting me up there. <laughs> oh, are you actually serious? It, this Was this actually a trap? Or am I just bad at jumping? Both are equally possible, but if I'm like close to the wall, it pushes me out. Oh, that's just fantastic. I'm actually really just... Uh... It is written in scripture that God turns all things to good. Yeah. Although personally, I... Not this jump, though. Alright, <sighs> um, let's, uh, let's just not go there. It's, it's a bad place to be. At least we found a secret area, you know? That's all I ever really cared about when you truly think about it. It's such a weird looking jump as well, like you go straight through that almost. Very unusual. We here at Radio Free Earth are sad to report the death of One-Eyed Olga, the legendary oh. Russian sniper, who was killed earlier today during a daring attempt to sabotage the Tunguska portal. Her death is a tragedy, as is the death of every other human being in this war. But it's up to us to make sure these countless tragedies... I, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my phone was vibrating during that, and I just put it on silent. I wasn't listening to the radio. It's a kind of a shame that One-Eyed Olga is dead, the character that I don't think we ever saw, we only heard about on radios. But... I, I'm, it's inconsequential to me. I'm a monster. I, I have no feelings regarding these characters, and I'm very sorry. I mean, my one true love, Kenny, is already gone, so like at this point... I'm just doing it for vengeance. This is more just a story of vengeance at this point. So, I mean, what can you do, you know? What can you do? Is this really just the electricity, or is there a secret? I want there to be secrets everywhere now. There's 26 secrets in this level. There's gotta be at least 13 in that hallway alone. <laughs> and y'all can tell your mamas I don't even like pinch of seafood! Do I even want to know? Don't just make him pull that conversation, boss. You find Kenny? He's, uh, he's gone. Damn. He was just a kid. His soul is with his creator now. Yeah. Well, that's, a, that's the third boy that we got back again. There's Rodriguez. Haven't seen him in a while. He just jumped over a, a wall, and here we go. Ready to kick some butts. I'm excited about it. I've been there. All right. Should I take this signpost skill? I'm just a little curious. There's so many signposts in this place. Like, clearly they want me to use it. 
But I just... Uh, I have to, like, move things around. But there's so many... You know what? It's been a while. It's been a while since I've tried this. Um, let's just get rid of that one for a second. And try this for a moment. I just... I need to know. Maybe I just had a weird experience with it the first time around. But really, it's actually good. I cannot dual wield them. Which is fair. Hello? It just doesn't even care. How about now? I'm sure we'll see him in a second, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mean, it does make them fly, and that is actually pretty fun. You got that right, Carter. Well, this wasn't nearly as exciting as I was hoping it to be, but, I mean, we found Rodriguez, so... You know what? I'll take it. Also, I guess this place is a little bit easier to jump on top of from this side than it was on the other, but, you know what, fair enough. All these things and more. In your favorite Serious Sam game, Serious Sam 4. Up. No. Oh. Can I get anything else from this place? I'm pretty sure I've more or less looted everything that I could find here. Unless there's something on top of this wall as well, which is not impossible. Again, with this amount of secrets, I'm going to be looking at the same things over and over. It's the way I live life. I can't stop myself. Let's just leave, though. I don't... I think we've seen everything. I see no flashing purple things, and that's really the only indication you can get for a secret. So, yeah, all right, there we go. Like, do I really need to look at the life thing? Do I really need to keep dropping the sign by <laughs> automatically because of all the animations? Probably not. I could probably do without any of those things. And I would appreciate it if you would just let me be from time to time, game. But you know what? Not gonna let it frustrate me. I'm just having a good time here. I'm just killing some dudes. Hitting people with signposts every now and then. Having a good time. No worries. There's gotta be something on top of that rooftop, right? Like, it's pretty much guaranteed. If there's not, I want my full money back for every part of this game that I've played so far. There's another secret area over there. I swear to God, if you pick this thing up in your hand as well. Oh my God, will you just please? You do not need to do that every single time you find a life up. I would understand if I had loaded the game between the two and it would like reset it by accident, but if you just keep doing that, I'm gonna let it get a little mad. Gonna get a little mad. Thought that was a process. It was a, like a fire hydrant for as far as I can tell from this direction. It's a little bit difficult to tell. I don't think there's anything on top of that rooftop, so I will be getting a refund immediately. But maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep playing the game instead. I think that's actually a pretty good strategy so far. It's been, uh, it's been working. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's okay. That's all good. Let's just move on with our cool signpost and a dream. You think this thing breaks after a while? I really haven't used this thing enough, have I? I, I probably haven't. I probably should have been using this thing a little bit more, but I guess now that we're in the land of signposts, it's probably a better time to be using it here than it ever, ever has been. But this is really starting to get to me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Why does he have to look at it every time? Why does it drop the signpost? I think I know what the power-up looks like at this point. I'm just gonna let you do all the work. Oh, I cannot signpost that. Are you spawning behind me? That's disgusting. Ah. Okay, then. Immediately, the first encounter. I find enemies that I can't really use the signpost against after all that time of carrying it around with me. How y'all doing? I'm just gonna stand on the staircase. Y'all seem to be having a good handle on things. I'm just chilling. Oh, that's a knoom. That's actually a little bit of an issue, I suppose. Yep. Surprised it didn't hit me, but fair enough. I kinda need to deal with you, huh? Uh, okay, that was probably not necessary, but that's okay. All my rockets are hitting the pillars. That's probably fine. We're probably in an A-OK -okay spot right now. Every time I want to shoot you, more kamikaze spawn. It's actually kind of a problem. At least I got some of my rockets back just by the thing. I think uh, that has been... Alright, let's just... We're going to try this one more time. 
I have confidence that at some point I'm going to be able to do an encounter with this signpost and not have 15 kamikazes run at me at the same time. That would that would be preferable if I could somehow not combine those things. Would be nice. Would be lovely. I've been here. But we'll just have to try a couple times. I mean, I know we're kind of late game at this point, so the odds are we're going to find kamikazes or more or less non meleable enemies all the time, but... I want to believe, you know? I just want to smash someone over the head with a signpost. That's really the only thing I'm asking for right now, and I suppose she probably should have been asking for it a little bit earlier, because it was very clearly a much better time to be doing that kind of stuff, but still. How is this not solid? <laughs> How are you not real? I just don't understand sometimes. Because I want to go there. There's like walls. I love going to walls. They're my favorite structure type. That's all I want. I guess I'll grab the ammo and stuff, but I'm still a little disappointed that I couldn't very easily get to walls. Like, I can do this. But judging from what I could see from that side, probably not supposed to be doing this that much. I think I could just create a bridge at a signpost. I think I am actually supposed to get over there, because it's like... ways back, really. That's, that's the thing. Hmm. That was a lot easier. Alright. What do we got? We got C4 Explosives. A weapon that I have also frequently forgotten about. Very nice. Slowly but surely, we're going to find every single thing that I have forgotten about, all hidden in this singular level. And I for long can't wait. There's a, I forget a lot of things consistently. So the things you're about to see, they're, uh, it's going to be an adventure. I can promise you that much. Ay, ay, ay. What do we got? I mean, I suppose I'm supposed to get close to that door and then be like, Ah, oh, it locked, what? And then... <laughs> I mean, that does stay quite fun. Throwing a signpost, general signpost fun, like all that stuff. Anything related to signposts. I just wish it didn't cost me a skill point, because dual wielding heavy weapons. That's just really good. Probably better than a single signpost could ever be. So, you know, it's a problem. This thing gets rid of trees, though, wow. All the other weapons actually take quite a quite a few hits to destroy a tree, at least the melee ones, I suppose. So I'm actually pretty impressed about the sheer power of this thing. Wasn't expecting that. Think there's anything over there, or is this just garbage? It is written in scripture that God I've heard this line before. Good, I prefer things which are good to begin with. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, maybe there's something over there. Maybe we'll never know. I think I'm just about ready to get surprised by the door closing in front of me, though. Like, I don't think there's much else here, for as far as I can tell. It's always a little bit hard to tell with this game, but... I think I've gotten a pretty good look at things. Huh? Maybe I'm wrong. What do I know? So many extra lives! I've gotten three of them at this point. Counting the ones I already had, I guess, but still, that counts. This is almost certainly going to get you trapped, so maybe not. Hmm. Is this going to get you trapped? I mean, almost certainly, right? With the tree gone, it's probably a lot easier maybe to I see. Get another cat. Her dog. No. <laughs> okay. Her cat bear. A squid. I'm ready. Or like a baby werewolf. Call him George. George would be a good name. Could your boy just teach him to say? But then, fame goes to his head. Drugs, sex. I get jealous. I have to put him down. Oh man, now I'm sad. That went on a little bit longer than I expected it, but fair enough. He's got his story ahead of himself, so that's good. Good to make plans. Alright. Wow. Genuinely more surprised it didn't close in front of me. What we got over here? Service keys, stash supplies, invaders, detailed directions, see the other side of the note. Ah, about Saeed and stuff. All right. Enter the warehouse. Cool. I love things. 
The door didn't even close behind me, so I can quite easily get the key if I missed it earlier. What a what a treat. What a treat. For a time anomaly. Very good. Oop. Let's just try that one more time to make sure if we're not supposed to go there. Nope, that's an invisible one. We shall move regularly. I'm still really digging this music though, it's so good. Probably might be my favorite music of the game so far. And there have actually been some pretty good songs in this game so far. Not supposed to be up here. <laughs> but it's good to look every now and then. Probably would make my life easier if, if I fought from there than where I'm heading now. But that's okay. Let's just move onwards. I'm looking forward to finding more kamikazes and instantly throwing this signpost away. That's really the only thing going through my head right now. Let us be surprised. It's gonna happen any second now. I mean, this place is too big and cool looking to not contain a whole bunch of stuff immediately, right? Look, there's Stonehenge. That's what Stonehenge looks like in its entirety. Ah, oh, for... F yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. That would be the thing to stop me from <laughs> using a signpost. Just a butt-ton of Really far away things. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's fine. We're just gonna chill here on this mountain for a bit with all of our friends that are still alive. Mine is Saeed, Michelle, and the various other people I guess we just sort of left behind somewhere. Charlie. I remember Charlie. I mean, I guess I could probably use a signpost against these guys because it's... It was mostly just the harpies that made me throw it away. Well, the snipers, really. But the harpies as well. That's just kind of an awkward thing to try and fight with a signpost. Oh, don't shoot that. That's a good enemy. Oh, uh, you can shoot that one. Oh, that's not a bolt. Never mind. Thought I was looking at something else. My apologies. <laughs> Get over here, Nars. It's time. I mean, this is just a lot of fun. Not super effective uh, due to the rockets, but seeing them fly is good enough for me. Kind of wish I would get melee health for this, but I mean, I understand why I don't. Like the main dis like non-effectiveness of this is how much damage I'm taking from doing this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's. Uh, that's enough of that. But. Uh, Pardon? Well, I tried to use the extra life, but then the, the screen went black and nothing happened. So, you know what? I guess we're loading a save file. And I guess I've saved there. Cool. What? That's actually just kind of unfortunate. I have three extra lives. I kind of wanted to use them here. This seems as good a place as any to start using some extra lives, I would say. But, all right. Little frustrating. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. We've had the technical difficulties level already. I'm beyond that. I'm ready to move on from that life. I should probably switch to the laser gun. I don't like how many enemies are to my right right now, but that's probably gonna work out with all my friends being there, right? Eh, I think they're doing a pretty good job, I would say. The green balls are really just my main concern. There's a couple of them. I think I killed one by now. But there's actually quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, I could just stand around the corner and just have them handle it, because I think they are actually dealing a pretty substantial amount of damage to them. Oh, there we go. But I assume if I just sort of stay near this wall, they will all just sort of shimmy around the side there and die to my laser, so that's also kind of nice. There we go. Ooh. Getting close with those rockets, though. I should probably be at least a little bit careful. You know... When I was playing uh, the first Serious Sam ever made, uh, Serious Sam the first encounter, even then I was like, you know what? This, better, this weapon would be better if it was also like partially a teapot. And now we're finally experiencing the, grassy, no the continuous high-pitched twine of a teapot as you're playing this game. And it really just adds a lot of immersion to the whole thing. So thank you very much for that. I mean, why? <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, fair enough. It, it's a little bit of extra flair to the weapon, I guess, but... Uh, sometimes less is more, I guess, uh, is, is the summary to that little, little complaint. I fell down the hill. Oh, okay. I was not expecting there to be a whole bunch of enemies left here, but... That's fine, I guess. I did think it was at least a little quiet, I suppose, but... Like, is this still part of the previous encounter that I did, or is it just... Was this supposed to happen early? <laughs> Gotta feed my gun. That's the nice thing about having allies that are invulnerable. You can just chill. Hmm. Yeah, genuinely actually quite confused about that one. Like, did I just miss that? <laughs> or was it supposed to happen on the way back after you've done everything or something? I actually don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna take this time to grab a couple power-ups here. Might as well check out the area. I haven't really explored it too much because I was waiting for the enemies to show up. And now they're hopefully all dead. It's gonna make exploring the place a little bit easier. Just gonna sniff the pink flowers real quick before we move on. But I think we got this place in the back just about 200 minigun bullets. It's actually quite a substantial amount of bullets. I mean, I guess you shoot a lot of minigun bullets quite quickly, but 200 still actually feels like quite a lot. Comparatively to the other weapons we have at our disposal. I also need to remember to actually reload dual-wielded weapons, and that's one I'm gonna forget frequently as well, I'm concerned about, because that one's... It's not immediately obvious that that second gun's ammo is still there, and I kind of understand why you have to reload it separately, because otherwise you'd just, like, do this, and then it would be reloaded probably, but... I'm gonna forget about it, and it's gonna cause some troubles somewhere along the line. Almost certainly. So far we died once, I tried to use an extra life and the game uh, <laughs> disagreed with me. So, um, we still got three extra lives, so that's good. I just need to be certain that I can actually use them during the fights, and that one's gonna be a little tricky to guarantee, I suppose, but we'll see what happens. So far, not seeing a bunch of stuff near these walls. I'm a little skeptical that sitting so close to the walls all the time is a good idea. Because I feel like if anything's gonna spawn, then I'm just gonna be dead. And that's not great. That's the opposite of what I want to be. If I'm being truthful. Which I currently am. So therefore... I'm just gonna do it for exploration's sake. But it does look like this wall is just, just a really big wall. With not that many things hiding next to it. That's actually kind of surprising at this point, given how much stuff there is in this level. To just have a bunch of nothing. It's unusual. Like, even with these cool rocks, I would have expected one of the cool rocks to have, like, a cool 50 health power-up on top of it for me to look at for roughly five seconds before grabbing my previous weapon again. But no. Can I blow up the middle rock? That would be pretty cool. No. For as far as I know, at least. I'll just be on my way, I guess. I guess that's fine. That's the locked thing, so it's gonna close behind me in a second. There's gonna be a kerfuffle here, I can almost smell it. I don't like having a kerfuffle near corn. But it is what it is. Unless it isn't corn, it's just a very similar looking plant, then I suppose there's no problems at all. Also, I can get quite high up this thing. Not, not quite all the way up. This rooftop is weirdly slippery, but pretty high up. Feeling pretty confident in that place, though. If I were to have a fight, I think my favorite location would be on top of a rooftop. Uh, provided that I'm fighting s just kamikazes. Any other combination of enemies is uh, a bit of a trouble. Am I missing, like, a jump strategy or something? Because this... I'm getting stuck in places where I feel like I shouldn't be. Like, this is actually a secret area. And this is the most obvious place to get out of the secret area. 
and I'm not I'm just not jumping high enough and I'm not actually quite sure why so I'm I'm actually a little confused about that one like what is happening here sometimes I like what what <laughs> why can I you can even destroy this and just be properly stuck in here, but it wasn't helping me get up th Am I missing a very obvious doorway to this place? It's very likely I am the kind of person that would miss that. Like, maybe you're supposed to actually blow a hole in the wall somewhere on the other side, and that's why I'm struggling right now, because I just jumped over some rooftops. But I, d I don't see another way to get out of here. Well, this is like a little jumping puzzle on one of the side of the walls or something, but... I'm fairly certain I was not able to actually jump on top of that rooftop, even with the wooden platforms there, so what is up? I'm actually kind of tempted to load the game. This is a, like a really weird reason to load the game. This, like, this is new. <laughs> Alright, I guess... Uh, bleh? Like... What? <laughs> I don't understand. Because it's really quite easy to get on top of this. And you can quite clearly see the the thing there. I'm guessing you can get on top of this, yeah. But then when you get to this side, there's No that time I what? I don't I don't get it. What was Hmm. Maybe this whole war isn't even about us. I don't understand Maybe this. This is actually just infuriating types. me at this Maybe point. Mental's end goal is to destroy the moon. Like, for one, that you can destroy the platform that you need to leave. And for two, that it is just so hard to get on top of that from that side. That's so stupid. All right, whatever. We're fine. We're good. This is fine. We're just having a good time. We're just trying to get through the video game with little concerns not super concerning concerns just having a little bit of, a, of an interesting time that's that's all we're just gonna call it just making sure there's nothing on this side but I'm scared to jump down because the moment I jump down anywhere I get stuck in places but there is another secret C4 secret over here and there is another thing to jump on top of a tiny rooftop over there. It's very odd. Very odd game. This place frightens me. And usually when I'm frightened, Rodriguez is nearby and today is no different. So, maybe it's just one of those days, you know? Maybe it's just one of those days. It's all about the he said and the she said. And so forth. Let's just move on. I'm I'm tired of this place. I no longer wish to look at this small village. I'd rather go inside that tiny building and find secrets galore. Or finish the objective instantly upon touching the the place. Did I open a door during any of this? I picked up a key. But I have no recollection of actually opening a door anywhere. That's nice. But I feel like I should have at least like opened something, right? Or maybe maybe the door was open like closed until I picked up the key and then they just opened it automatically or something. But I don't know. I what is that? That's a cannon. Yeah, it's just weird lighting, I think. Yeah. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Time to completely safely leave this place and have no troubles whatsoever. I'm feeling pretty confident about that statement. That's why I'm going to take the normal route. <laughs> which is, uh... The walls. The, the walls feels like probably the most safe route you could take during this place. Like, just... That's how the assassins would have done it back in Rome. They knew what they were doing. They were jumping all over the place. You wouldn't do that all willy-nilly. So I, I trust them with their strategies, I would say. I could probably jump on top of that wall very easily. How's none of this closing? Is it actually... 
Because I'm taking a ridiculous route right now. That's certainly not the case, right? Like, they even put a big old lamp to indicate that it's gonna lock in a second. I guess it could lock after I've gone through it. But if that's the case, I would rather have my friend walk through this doorway as well. Unfortunately, my friends are either stuck on a well or just mo not moving at all. So that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> it is like that sometimes. All right, second person gotten stuck on the well, I think. Nope. Slowly but surely, just got to guide them a bit. There we go. Eventually, we all make it past a tiny well. And we're ready to leave. Just a regular walk back to where we came from. Truly, nothing will go wrong. For I have destroyed all the enemies in this place. I guess I have? Okay then. It is it's just empty. Alright. Cool. That's how you do it. That's how you win a fight. By just not putting one there. Fine. I kind of want to blow this up. But at the same time, I'm already regretting it. Because I kind of want to get on that rooftop as well. And one would argue that the order of operations there was not optimal. Come here, ortho -pusses. But I managed to figure out a way around it. They're just going to have some fun fighting. I'm just going to look around here. Like, do I really want to spend my time fighting fools? I think not. And these are the biggest fools. Hang on. I'll get back to you in a second. I just need this thing. Ah, they already died. This is why they're fools. I heard another bew, but... Oh, there we go. There we go. Like, right now, I just want to make the most of it. Because I feel... Uh, <laughs> I feel a skill change coming up very soon. Where I just go back to... Uh, dual wielding heavy weapons. But until that time, I want to make sure that I've actually swung this thing around a couple times, you know? And I'm gonna say... It is pretty fun. But I'm still a little annoyed that it costs a skill point. Also, how do the sliding mechanics in this game work? It's actually kind of unusual to explain what's happening with it as well, because... You don't start sliding until you press a movement key. And then you just sort of slide in the direction where you were going to slide in anyway, and it's it feels really strange. Because it feels like, oh, I'm not sliding here, I'm standing still here, very balanced. And then suddenly you just slide off the building. It's it's actually just really unusual. I don't think I'm going to be able to jump on top of that. And if I can, you know what? I just don't care right now. I want to go to that cannon that's been looking at me for a second. I'm just curious. Oh, that really didn't go as far as I thought it would. Okay. 13 cannonballs. I guess we got a, bu a couple somewhere else. Uh, notice. Right, let's wake everything up. I definitely heard something bigger. I'm not sure what. Oh, that would do it. What is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna let them shoot at it for a while. I'm actually a little curious how effective this is. So far, it seems not quite. How effective is this? Fairly effective. I could climb it. I just don't feel like it right now. There we go. Yeah, pretty good at dealing with uh, with a knoom. I don't particularly want to move away from the starting area because I think that's just going to cause a lot of trouble. What are you shooting at? Oh, just a dude. I mean, that's some proper battle music right there, though. It had, like, the pirates and stuff going on. Uh, oh, it's another one. If I do this a second time, will that be quite as effective? Yeah, it is. Okay. And I guess we're just not going to do that anymore. Like, at least we can get him to sit down. That's pretty good. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't there in time, which is fair. I'm going to see if I can just spawn a whole bunch of stuff in this place, because this is a lot of cannonballs. I do want to look at this place in, like, more detail in a second, but... I'll get to there. I'll, I'll get to there, as they say. What is coming towards me? 
I'm hearing things. And I don't like the things I'm hearing. Oh, that will do it. Should be aiming at heads more, I think. Would probably be an effective strategy. But I can also just lure everyone to Rodriguez as he fails to kill anything. I feel like Saeed was better at the murder. Not to do, like, a disservice to, like, what Rodriguez is trying to do here, but... I feel like the moment I lured anything to Saeed and Frenchman 2 and 3... They were just destroying everything. And they, these guys are struggling a bit. A bit more than I had anticipated. You know what? Uh, let's just... Uh, black hole it up. I got four of these things, why not? Just chill it up a bit. Oh boy. I was trying to get to the health up using the next gadget button. And I forgot that the extra life is there as well, so I kept misclicking. It was a great experience. Well, that definitely killed a lot of people, I would say. Uh, sniper rifle, there we go. That's getting the job done. Oh boy. That's, those are not good shootings. <laughs> That's not good shootings at all. I'm also at the point where I believe this might be the level where afterwards I lose the gadgets if I have to believe what I've read. So I'm a little bit more inclined to use the gadgets. I think Rodriguez might have actually killed that red guy. But more that he just sort of gave the last shot by accident. I mean, that's also pretty effective. <laughs> Interesting that you... Like, just keep aiming in the same place as well when you switch weapons after zooming and... If an enemy just doesn't move, that's just free headshots all around. So that's just pretty convenient. With all these cannonballs, I've used two? <laughs> I still have so many gadgets left that this is going to be sort of an interesting experience, I think, where... How much can I be bothered until I just press the kill all button? And, uh, I'm feeling a little lazy today, I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a bit of a lazy Sunday. It's Tuesday today, but I'm having a lazy Sunday. So that counts. I don't know if it's Tuesday when the video goes out, I guess, so... Use the first switch? What am I doing here exactly? Oh, you're right, that. Yeah, that was, I guess, quite visible. The moment I entered the door. I just don't want to start two more battles before I've looked at this place properly, you know? Like, there's some cool statues over here. Probably not... ...destructible. But you gotta be sure. Because what if there's a secret behind this giant statue? Like, this now just looks like a very large empty area, and that's just unusual. I don't care for it. All these statues just chilling in strange little hovels. It's all just a little bit unusual. Not what I'm used to seeing, that's why I'm calling it unusual. I'm curious if you could just jump over this. Like, I'm... I just like jumping so much, you know? Big fan of the yumps. At least the, the shiny blue wall doesn't deal damage to me when I touch it. So I appreciate that. But given the fact that I can quite easily leave the level pretty early on, I would not be surprised if you could just sort of walk past this giant shield that is looking at us over here. And there's a part of me that's like, do it. Walk all the way back to the start. Jump out, see where you end up now that you've seen some of the level, but... It's just, it's, it's just a bit too easy. <laughs> I have to resist these temptations because I kind of do want to see what the level holds in like a regular human style, but at the same time, I do love me some jumping. Just some tiny hops here and there before you know it. You're somewhere else. That's what jumping is. <laughs> That's more or less a description of jumps and the effect of them. So, there you go. I've explained jumping to you. I hope this is exactly what you wanted. It's exactly what I dare to provide in, the, in, uh, in this video. What is a jump? I'll get to that switch in a second. There's still so much to look at. Look at this place. Filled with walls, ceilings. I feel like this is the kind of place where they would put one of those companion orbs in a lamp. Because if I were to put a companion orb anywhere in this 
in this level. I'd put it over here. Might, you, might be just me. But I'm feeling Companion Orby. It would just add a nice little charm to this place as it bounces all over the place, hits all the walls and stuff, goes up and down, having a good time. You know? I can see it happen. I can also see myself on the other side of this wall, but it, it just won't leave my mind anymore. I've gotten it stuck in there, and now now it's become... Uh, it's growing like a small seed. Growing into a beautiful plant. Lip. As I look for inevitable secrets. Because this, this looks like a reasonable jumping puzzle. Like, there's a thing over there that I can get to quite easily now. I guess I could just grab the thing. I guess. Didn't really even need to get all the way on top of that when you think about it. Apparently there was just a thing there that I could jump on top of. Let's do that again. Because I'm a little curious. Surely, you can't just put all this stuff over here and then be like, yeah, there's actually nothing. This is a not place. There we go. Look at that. We made it to the top of the castle. This is actually a pretty good view of the place, at least, so that's good. What it doesn't really give me is, uh, is an item. I wonder if Carter's name is even Carter. I've never actually considered Carter's name in that much detail before. I suppose there is a good chance that he's been lying the whole time. About his name. Nothing else. Everything else seems, like, pretty spot on, but the name thing, that seems pretty suspicious. I can definitely get on top of this. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I mean, if ladders worked, it would be even more easy to get on top of this, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's just start pressing buttons. And then stand over here. I'm ready to die. No, I don't want a blue pen, pal. Or do I? Surprised that he didn't really go for the attack there, but at the same time, I did do some weird movement, I suppose. I'm gonna chill here for a second. Just shoot around me. I think I don't take that much damage from kamikazes on top of this thing. So I'm feeling pretty safe over here. It's nice that they gave me one of these immediately. Okay, that actually deals a pretty substantial amount of damage. Never mind. I have two health left. Okay. We're gonna chill here for a little long before we go on blue pen pal number two. Boop. Okay, took some damage there, but that's okay. We are entirely fine. I'm gonna lose this guy in a second. Hmm, 68 health. Is that fine? I mean, I suppose it is. I'm taking a little bit too much damage doing that every single time. And we'll solve this problem. The death button. Is it overkill? Yes. Do I still have way too many black holes left? Almost certainly. Does it ruin every fight? Yep. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they do have to get quite close to the black hole at least, so when they're stuck on a wall randomly, at least they don't die. <laughs> but... I feel like getting to this level with just with way too many black holes. Maybe it's not a fully intended way. I mean, they put so many black holes before this level, you know? And I have forbidden knowledge about my gadgets, so that also helps with whether or not should I use it. Because the answer at this point is basically yes, always. Because where else am I going to use it, you know? If, if, I, if they disappear before I use them, I'm just going to be even more mad. So I'd rather just use them on even just the simplest fights than to lose them and never use them at all, you know? So there you go. Okay. I'm trying to find what actually is a good place to fight in this place, because it does get quite cramped. But I suppose if I just move anywhere other than the button, it's probably like a pretty decent start. Reptiloid? Oh. Alright. Don't mind me. I'm just running really far away from where this fight starts, and I'm gonna see how it works out. Oh. You're here. Can you sit down? No, that's not sitting down. That's running into me. 
Mm, this might actually kill me at this rate. <laughs> yeah. This is a terrible strategy. What was I thinking? This thing just doesn't work anymore. I don't know what's happening, but now the screen has gone entirely white. And it's loaded the game anyway. My extra lives are broken. Alright, sweet. Why even... Uh, at least I'm getting different situations happening. Like the first time the screen went entirely black. Now it went entirely white. So, you know, that's fun. Love me a bit of variation. Another thing I would love... <laughs> is the game function, but... It's one or the other, you know? I can't have it all. Let's just throw a couple of these in there and hope they deal with the process, because really that's... I just need them to deal with the process, and I'm gonna keep trying to use these extra lives, even though I've more or less given up all hope on it. Oh, it worked that time! That's actually kind of surprising at this point. I'm not gonna be able to get much use out of this, but at least it might kill some of the process. I don't understand. <laughs> Mm, this might work. I guess you do actually get quite a lot of, like, armor on this character. All things considered. There we go. Look at them all being dead in a second. Look at me being dead in a second. Uh, yeah, let's just bail. It's a terrible place to be. A lot of reptiloids. Uh, laser gun? Yeah. Really, I just need to deal with the reptiloids a lot more than the processed, but the processed are a surprisingly big problem. Given how garbage they are, like, there's just so many of them. Which I guess is the point of a serious sound game. Just having many things. But I'm just not dealing with them very well. Oh, hey. There you go. We found the place to be. And provided, like, is this an acceptable shooting speed, Rodriguez? One bullet per day? That's not, that's not enough bullets, my friend. That doesn't kill the man, that just sort of annoys it a bit. Like, that's... It's just like the assault rifle that he's just... Just bopping a bit with. Not even hitting, he's hitting the wall. Like, what are you doing, Rodriguez? I'm just actually quite disappointed in him now. He's supposed to be like the crazy, oh, he does all this stuff, and then he probably kills it. A thing somewhere. He had all these plans. But he's it's, it's just terrible. He's, <laughs> he's useless. Uh, I miss Saeed. Saeed was a friend, you know. Saeed was able to shoot his gun. Michelle was able to shoot her gun. There was just a lot of people capable of shooting their gun. And all those people have just wandered off to do their own things. It took Charlie. Charlie was probably able to shoot the gun pretty well. I assume. It's basically just an enemy. But a friend. Frenemy? Yeah. That's exactly what that means. But then there's Rodriguez here, and I was already a little disappointed with Rodriguez from the moment he started talking, which was uh, about six seconds into the game, give or take, but to see him shoot like that is just disappointing. And suffice to say, that's the most frustrating part of it all. Not even that the gadgets don't work. Or that I have to take a melee attack every time I try to jump on top of something. That's also not preferable, but I suppose that's... You know what? If they want to do a melee attack before I jump on top of their head... And control them entirely, you know what? At least they tried to get rid of me. But Rodriguez... What have you done? I don't think there's really any point on jumping on top of these shield things, but now... That I can. I'm a little curious if you could jump like all the way on top. Jump to the other one and then just jump over it. I think that would be just be really neat. I think that would just be a really neat thing. Anyway. We got places to be. We got 800 more meters of fun on our way. And until we get all the way there, I still got a lot of jumping to do. Can I get on top of this? Is this just a... 
It's just the board. I just want to get on top of this staircase because it just seems like it has a lot of potential. It goes to like a door and everything. Where there's doors, there's usually like entrances or exits even. Two of those things. I mean, that just that gets you going. But I don't think that lamp's high enough, and I don't really see any other way of getting on top of this. But then again, maybe I'm just not jumping high enough. Because that is what the game has been doing. I'm getting grumpy again. It's one of, it's one of those levels. <laughs> really the moment that the extra life power-up just didn't work. That, that got me a bit. And we're getting to that direction again. So maybe I should like take a little pause. Oh. Like, I just want you to know. That's how long it takes to kill a purple dude. Now let's look at Rodriguez. Alright. Carter. Oh. They found him. They're all looking at him. They're aiming. But... Did you... <laughs> like, remember in France when they just killed everyone? <laughs> I mean, I suppose we're still in France, but a different part of France. And look at these guys now. They are just looking. They don't care. Have they really changed? I wonder, actually, because I'm waiting so long between each part that they might have actually just patched the game and made them less strong. Because they were just diabolical, basically, but... They're, they're just doing nothing now. Like, this is absurd. Uh, oh, well. I mean, two purple guys. I can understand why you just give up after the second one. So it, it's, it's fine, I guess. It is what it is. We move on. But suffice to say, I'm a little frustrated by it all. I'm just a little bit frustrated. I don't want to be frustrated. Just want to shoot some dudes. Maybe kill a Gnar every now and then. Maybe one of those scrapjacks. Uh, I have 40 cannonballs, why not? Alright guys, are you ready? Oh, they all just stopped. Okay. Get over here. Are they coming? Oh, they look at them go. Oh, I'm about to take some damage. Oh, but... Ah, oh, good job, father. Let us ease their suffering. Ah, oh, you tell him. Pretty much did all the work there, father. You 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 deserve the the dick. And so forth. Other such noises. You get it. You get where I'm coming from. It's coming from a place of Expectations. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen NPCs in this game do do some work. I've seen Kenny in level one not do much because his gun was broken. You know what? That's fine. It was level one for Kenny. Kenny was having a tough time. And yet I'm still more disappointed in these guys. Ah, good. <laughs> An extra life, maybe. It's just... Uh... I, I'm I'm struggling to deal with those things lately, I'm realizing. Where things just decide not to work. Maybe it's just the time of the year. Maybe I'm just a little bit bored of the world right now. I don't know. But something's just getting me a little bit extra frustrated by things right now, and I don't fully like it. I want to be a bit nicer to these kinds of things. But I'm struggling with it. So if I come across particularly grumpy on one day or another, I don't know. Maybe I just got the wrong things rubbed against me that day. And once again, if my extra life breaks, that's not an extra life. That's just a uh, hope <laughs> as it gets crushed. Like, I, I just don't want my hope to be crushed, really. That's, that's the only thing I'm asking for. Oh, Hellfire is there. I guess she killed someone, that's nice. Have I ever seen Hellfire in a level? I don't think I have, have I? I don't recall, in any way. 
So that's new. Eh, maybe in like level two? Like that's, it's a while ago. But maybe she was there with all the others as we were shooting some things, killing some dudes. I, I can see that as a, a thing that may have happened. I'm not sure why I'm doing it like this. Like I just, I just want to see places at this point. Like this looks reachable, right? Yeah. There's gotta be something up here. Look at how cool this place looks. There's two statues. There's a wall I can probably get on top of from here. No, maybe not. Maybe not. There we go. That's what I thought. If this place didn't have anything, I would actually be, once again, just a little frustrated. I can get on top of this wall. I'm pretty sure this is where I came from. Uh, I now see the secret health power up there, so we're just gonna have some fun with that. And this was the place that I saw previously where I was like, it's kind of weird that I can't get on top of that, and this is just a weird little dead end, but now that I can see from up here... Yeah, there's just nothing here, huh? It's just very strange. I'll get to that health power up in a second. I feel like all of this is more or less uh, new for me. Provided I can get on this wall. On top of this rooftop. There we go. Like, there's a couple places here that I can see now that I wasn't able to see previously. And that's out of bounds. Okay. But, you know, I can see some things now that I couldn't see previously. So, you know what? Oh. Hey, Rodriguez. It's still kind of baffling at the same time that... In, in the level with Saeed and friends that they disappeared and then Rodriguez just zips onto the wall with me. It's like, hey. I was maybe here all this time. Definitely didn't teleport, Wink. Just your classic Rodriguez following you up being all sneaky. It has often been Rodriguez that has followed me to like everywhere and beyond now that I think about it. I don't think anyone else has really been able to follow me as well as Rodriguez has, so I guess that's like a point of point of consideration there. So I suppose in, if, if I wanted someone to just sort of run behind me, then yeah, Rodriguez is pretty good. That's his, that's his talent. Chasing. <laughs> it's like a dog. <laughs> if Rodriguez was entirely replaced by a small dog, I think I would appreciate the character more. Like a small dog with a gun in his mouth and just starts shooting people. That, that... He could still be called Rodriguez, I would say. I think that's an adequate name. No problem with the name at Does all. Does anyone think clouds are a real Oh, come thing? on, Carter. Alright, it's, uh, when, when Carter starts talking, you know you've been messing around too long with, uh, with the same place. It's about time that we stumble upon Hellfire here, I think. Hey, there you are. I was getting worried about you. I'm fine. I wasn't worried about you, jackass. Anyhow, I saw some goodies on my way here. Sam, you want to go resupply? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Double minigun. What the hell fire? For a mini nuke. I haven't really seen many mini nukes now that I think about it. I've really only seen the one and I used it very quickly. That's kind of fun. I'm looking forward to getting another mini nuke to use in this level. Because if I don't use it, I'm going to lose it and be sad again. I have explained this. I no longer need to go into it. I will follow Hellfire in just a second. I will just check these branches one more time, making sure. Making sure. Just uh, splashing in the pond. Looking at the lily pads. Okay, guys. You stay here. Me and the lady, we'll go check out those goodies. Let's Aww, get goodies. Shut up, Rodriguez. Some big old oo-oos right there. Eh. Hmm. Not much here except for crates. Crates are fun. Sam loves crates. I've heard. And that's a pretty reliable source. I'm pretty sure I heard someone say that at one point. Like he said, I love crates. Crate team owns, like all those things. They were just, uh. All loves crates. Yeah. I'll follow Rodriguez, like, Rodriguez, Hellfire in a second. I oh, man, Hellfires. I really haven't done a lot with Hellfire, have I? It's just. She's been on radio a few times, I guess, but that's about it. I don't think I've ever actually 
seen her maybe beyond like level two. No, she drove there, right? Like after the level ended, she was like, "Hop in, boys," and then she. Really? Uh, what? I thought it might rain. Not safe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she drove in afterwards. So this might actually be the first like actual Hellfire sighting. That's not a cutscene. That's actually kind of interesting. So good job, Hellfire. You made it into the game. Good job. Very, very strong presence. There is something there. Oh, I could just jump on top of that that time. I don't understand how jumping works in this game. <laughs> Sometimes you can just jump in front of something three times, and the third time you'll just be on it. And I don't understand. Okay. Got pushed away a bit there. <laughs> in a weird way. But it's weird how, how it does that from time to time. It's just a very strange jumping game. I mean, occasionally there's these weird fights that, that stop the jumping for some reason, but when you start jumping places, you really get in some weird situations from time to time. This is, this is Bill Corwin. The only living person with a microphone. And he's making a podcast about what to do in life. And quite frankly, out of all the motivational speakers, I trust Bill Corwin with my life. He's just the best person. And I'm very pleased that there is not a single other podcast to listen to in this uh, destroyed world. Top one out of one podcasts, definitely. There we go. Another extra life. This is... I have four extra lives. <laughs> you sure know how to paint the town red. Thought this place could do with a splash of color. Yeah, it's just very quiet. Hellfire's really just killed everyone. Good job, Hellfire. You missed all the secret areas, though. I think that's sort of a miss, but you know what? It gives me a job to do as well. I appreciate that. Probably not supposed to go there. Well, wow, even the canoe. The way to a canoe's heart is through his stomach. The secret ingredient is violence. It's a lot of bags. It's impressive that you managed to keep all the bodies in here as well, as if they're not even real. Because every time I kill someone, they disappear. What's up with that? Hellfire? I thought your name was Hellfire, not Hell. Keep all the bodies over here and show them off to your best friend. Don't understand. This is a very uh, serious Sam the Next Encounter kind of kind of place. I think it's the corn. Really, the corn is the only thing. But it's enough. It's the only other serious Sam game I can think of that has corn. So you know you start to relate the two. Um, downside with corn is that you can't see anything. But you know what? I'm not gonna let that stop me. Hit him once. If I shoot him once more in the head, he's dead, I think. I'm concerned about the other one. That'll do it. Because there's one stuck here. Well, not really stuck, I guess. You're slow. Nar. That's a troublesome situation. That's more or less the strongest enemy in the game when they get close. Instant minigun. At least Hellfire also smart enough to have a minigun. Basically what I'm saying is, Hellfire is the next Kenny. Hellfire is the next, now the, the best character now that she's taken over the throne. And I have actually seen her shoot a gun. Which is something I can't say about any of the other characters that have visited this level. I'd say they've assisted, but really, they're just visiting. Like someone playing Monopoly and ending up on the prison space. That's what they've been doing. This is my prison, and they're just visiting. They're probably gonna get to go and get $200. Where's my $200? All I got is a whole bunch of minigun bullets, and a whole bunch of enemies to use minigun bullets on. I just want $200. Really, that's... The, the moment I get that... If Serious Sam 4 would give me $200 upon completion, it's a pretty good game. <laughs> I think that's a pretty reasonable request, is every player just gets $200 upon beating it. I'd write a positive review. Even if it was just the first time, you know, that you 
after beating it the first time, you get $200. Every, every time afterwards is just for fun. But... First time, 200 bucks. Like that, that would get people playing your game once and they would appreciate it. Then afterwards, there would be a discussion where it's like, Did I do a job by playing this? Huh. These weren't here before. Maybe we're getting reinforcements. That would be a new experience. That would be a new experience. Hey, it could happen. Ooh, nice. Best date ever. You're making me blush. Sort of got ah, that's just the blood on your face. Lost in my tangent about two hundred dollars. But let's if 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 a game developer, right, would put a game on the market and it's like the first time you beat it you get two hundred dollars. But the game's just terrible, right? And you spend like eight hours beating the game and it was just Well let's okay, let's say you spend like twenty hours playing the game. And at the end of it you were just like, Wow, that was terrible. Please give me a two hundred dollars and they give it. Would that, would that go on your resume? Because at that point, it's basically a job, right? Because you spent so much time trying to beat it. Maybe there would be people like writing guides. Maybe the game would only be up for one day. It's like an experiment. It'd be like, this game's on Steam. It's gonna be gone tomorrow. You have exactly 24 hours to beat it. Anyone who beats it the first you know, time. This is just like that time in Baden Baden. Right. Remember that Gnar? Oh, with the... And that pretzel stand. Yeah, and you kicked that thing... Right into the cortex. Oh, man. Good times. Kind of romantic, actually. You think when this war is over, we can ever go on a real date? Like, without killing anyone? I... I don't know. Have we gotten too used to it? Yeah, maybe if we just injure someone. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It's probably the best dialogue in the game so far. Just Sam saying, I don't know. It was a good line. Anyway, uh, I would put it on my resume. That's more or less the, the conclusion that I intended to reach with that story. Also, anyone who beats my game gets $200. I haven't made one yet. But if ever I make a game and I don't give you $200 upon completion, you can uh, point to this video where I said I would. And then I'll say, what video? And then suddenly the whole series deleted off of YouTube. And then you'll re-upload it, because you were smart enough to download the video. I'll be like, damn. But at that point, we're so far into the future, I'll be like, oh, it's one of them, uh, some deep fix. One of those things uh, that they just uh, put someone's face over someone else's face. And it looks like it's them, but it's not. And you'll be like, it's not even a face in this video. And I'll be like, yeah, that's how fake it is. And then uh, put my sunglasses on and ride into the sunset. It will be beautiful. I think that's probably going to happen at some point in my future. If it's not, I've more or less failed as a human. So just, just you know, light expectations. I've more or less um, gotten lost once again in my tangent. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore in this game. But I think I've just about seen everything here. <laughs> I think I've actually sort of explored this place while I was rambling. So I think we're good. Just checking this out real quick, because this actually looks like it has some potential. Hmm. A little bit too difficult to get on top of for it to have potential. I'm changing my mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna try a little more. But I'm willing to believe that... Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, willing to believe that I'm not actually... Oh, never mind. What do I know? What is difficulty? What is these weird trenches? Thinking that is the indicator of you've gone out of bounds here, just seeing something you're not supposed to see. No, that's all part of the game. The whole game has led up to this level with their ridiculous secrets that can get you stuck everywhere. It's all part of the game. No one was ever ready for it. I hope I actually got everything that I could get out of that little side area, because... I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you may have noticed, but I was not paying was attention paying. during any of that. Shut up, Rodriguez. Uh, shut up, Rodriguez. Weird that Sam was the one talking through a radio there. <laughs> but you know what? Sure. That's how it goes sometimes. Who went whoop whoop whoop? Someone sounded pretty robotic there. 
Yeah, there you go. Can you fire your gun, please? Or, well, I guess this works, probably. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Also, apparently the yellow bar uh, next to the health bar of the enemy is the indicator of how long I can stay on this thing before it just knocks me off. I'll deal with that suitcase in a second. And honestly, I had not noticed it the whole game. But there is an indicator that tells you when are you going to get knocked off the thing. And I kind of appreciate that. I just wish it hadn't taken me so long to realize that that's not a health bar. Yeah, because truly I thought the two were connected to uh, my health and yeah, they're not. They were not connected to anything at all. A lot of places to go here, actually. Oh, or... Ta-da! I did it. I made him disappear. They couldn't beat us if we let them. Yeah. You just moved them to a wall and... Pretzo. <laughs> Presto, not pretzo. Let's say pre <laughs> pretzo. That's what people say these days. Death ray? Excuse me? This upgrade enables a secondary fire for the 400 power draining death ray continues being cool, I guess. I mean, I never have ammo for this thing, but it's nice that they put a death ray on it. I'll probably find something to use that on. So what's that area over there then? Because I, there's like a whole... It, that was a place. Was this where it came from? Was this where it came from? This is where it came from. I'm just very lost. My attention span is completely destroyed by this level. I don't know what happened. But somewhere along the line, I've just lost myself in this place. And now I'm just running in circles. But fair enough. Apparently we got a death right now. So that's nice. Yeah, this is the first blue fire hydrant I've seen this whole level. This is just very suspicious to me. It's just very odd. Like, how... Maybe there were others, but it's the first one I remember. I don't know. Very weird. Every time. Every time I see anything shiny, I'm like, ah. Companion orb. Remember companion orbs? From back in the day? They were good. They were good times. Remember... How I said I was going to do this at some point. I suddenly remembered that I was going to do that. Here we are. We've done it. Can I step on top of this well enough to jump on this wall? Unlikely. From the car, perhaps? Also unlikely. From the car to the wall? Mm, probably not. A lot of... A lot of... Nah, maybe not. Hmm... No. Let's move on. We got our double machine guns. We got hellfire. We got a whole bunch of weapons. And we got a dream. That's all we need to survive this horrible place. Surely there's a secret here. Look at this. <laughs> Every single place that has anything I can jump on. There must be a secret here. If there's not, I'm disappointed. And it, that just that's a road to disappointment. Let's talk resurrection. Are you about to tell me they cloned Jesus? Don't feed the conspiracy theorist, father. More like conspiracy terrorist. Yeah, make fun of me for questioning things. I, I mean, next you'll be telling me that global warming wasn't an inside job. Shit, talking to you makes my brain hurt. Well, that's just my words expanding your neurons. Did that conversation make any sense? I don't know. I try not to listen. Yeah, that's... Oh, I can really relate to Hellfire. I'm starting to understand why they saved the best for last. Because everything she says is just like, yeah. Well, well put. I also try not to listen, and I'm getting better at it. Thanks, Hellfire, for putting... A relatable character into this video game. That's in Hellfire did the Hellfire put herself in this game. It was very impressive. How could it be done? The technology wasn't there, they said. But it was. The technology was there. Let's just start this arena. There we go. Probably like cool stuff. Yeah. 
Let's just use a couple of these. I still got so many. All right, what are we what are we gonna use today? We got the rage serum, sure. If I just use all of my rage serums, this singular fight, that seems pretty reasonable, right? Like against clears, it's pretty effective to just use rage serum. And against harpies, it'll probably work pretty well as well. Let's just use another one. It's nice that I can also just run while doing that, so really just get the best of both worlds. That's a biomechanoid. Is that a red one? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Curious if the rage serum actually affects the red biomechanoids or not. Probably doesn't, right? But it would be cool. Like, I don't know how that would work, but I'm sure there's a way where that makes sense. <laughs> Fighting harpies with a red biomechanoid, I'm realizing, is maybe not the best thing in the world, but... Fighting other red biomechanoids with a red biomechanoid? That's pretty great. Uh, I will say this, though. I cannot be bothered with this. Whoop. Not so many harpies. Uh, are you close enough? Are you gonna get close enough to that? Uh, slowly. I think even that one is technically flying a bit. That's good enough. That guy's just gonna explode in a second. Can I just jump on top of him while he's just, like, floating? Oh, yeah. Ah, he just dies. Alright. <laughs> Even when I'm on top of him, he just insta-dies. Fair enough. But yeah, black hole pretty effective against some harpies. Now we know. And it's good to know these kinds of things. What is... What are my rockets going towards? I took a weird path there. And I really should have remembered that I have this. This is so effective against red biomechanoids. It just kills them so good. Whoop, whoop. Just gotta do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hope that the rocket doesn't shoot another rocket in midair. Before you know it, you have a beautiful day on your hands. It's just, it just costs a lot of rockets, but you get some of them back. Aw, are you daydreaming again? So that's nice. I wonder if the door open. Nope. That's no good. That's not what you want to see. I'm just gonna focus on those. I'm sure they can deal with the harpies just fine, right? What are the odds that they would struggle with that? Almost zero, I would say. Yeah, at least the reptiloids died pretty quickly. They're not reptiloids. Arachnoids? That seems right. That sounds like a real name for those enemies. Look at us working together. Come on, Hellfire, you, me, and then some other people. We will deal with the troubles that are coming our way. And I think the ammo that I'm getting from the enemies, because it's like 50 bullets have dropped. Like, that's not what I need to kill one harpy either. So that's nice. Really just having a nice time right now. This door open? Huh. Is that door supposed to be closed? This is where it came from, right? Yeah. Yeah, that definitely is where it came from. That's surprising. <laughs> Kinda would have expected this door to be closed if I'm perfectly honest. Oh boy, there's fire on me. But it does make life a little bit more convenient. Where's the where's the clown? They're clowns now. I've just accepted that they're clowns. There we go. But yeah, this is a lot easier way to deal with a whole bunch of process. Having two people with miniguns just shoot down a corridor? Very effective. But it does seem like a bit of an oversight. Oh boy, that's flames coming through the wall. There we go. Alright. Occasionally jumps over, but yeah, for the most part, I would say that was a pretty effective strategy of dealing with just a whole bunch of stuff. What? Oh, I just didn't mean to use that. I'm not gonna lie. I actually meant to heal. But you know what? Perfect time to use it. That's a black hole. <laughs> uh, don't look directly at it. 
No idea what I'm fighting right now, but I'm sure the black hole is completely necessary. Like, I think it was, what, a helicopter? So I'd say it was worthwhile. Ah, there was a couple. I'm hearing bulls. Not seeing them quite yet, but... Oh, there we go. I missed it. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. That's my boy. Ah, uh, it's a good... It's always a good time when there's a bull around, because you just... You just get to chill, run around your friends for a while. Hearing people talk about drowning in other people's blood. You know, just, just little things. Also, I'm not sure... If the bar goes down a lot slower uh, when you're on a bull compared to like a red biomechanoid, but it feels like I can be on a bull for just so long. And with the with the biomechanoid, it did seem to go down a little bit quicker. I feel, but I don't know. It might just be me. Maybe just because I like to run around on a bull for a while. Maybe it's just because he's so fast that it makes everything else seem slow, faster, different. I don't know. I'm just very confused. I'm just having a good time riding some enemies occasionally. Like this, exploring like this, so much quicker. So much easier to tell if there's like secrets and stuff. Surrounding this whole place, the third person view is probably something I should be applying when I'm looking for stuff rather than always being in first person. But I keep forgetting there's a button for it. It's like, I, I don't even remember what the button is. <laughs> I pressed a lot of buttons just now and didn't change it, so maybe I can't be in first person while I'm on the bull, which is fair. But yeah, it's just it's just so very convenient. More bulls, please. Also, I'm curious if the bull meter retains when you leave the bull and re-enter it. I don't think I've really tried looking at that before. So we're gonna find out in just a sec. Nope, that resets it. Alright, cool. <laughs> pretty great. Just a pretty great situation. All my friends are in here. The doors are closed, I think. And we're just going towards that cathedral. It's just very convenient to have a pool. Like, even for places like this, you can much more easily see everything. You see, like, some biomechanoids over there. Dodging stuff's a lot easier. You get just 72 extra health that you like I don't even really fully understand how damage works when you're on top of a bull either or other things some things don't damage you it's just a really good time for everyone involved except for the monsters that are trying to kill me and my friends never mind I'm dead uh, I should not have shot you that much <laughs> strongly regret my choices but you know what Sometimes you gotta make life a little bit more interesting. And sometimes uh, your friend kills the bull that you were trying to get on. That's actually a bit of a problem. Uh, you know what? This needs a mini nuke. I haven't used one of these in a bit. And quite frankly, I miss it. I miss instant death weapons. <laughs> Perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Even the enemies that hadn't spawned yet die. <laughs> Such a <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm just having a good time here. As you may have noticed. Um, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm just feeling a little lazy today. Just all things considered. Just feeling a little lazy with stuff. And if I can take the easy route. Then you know what? That's the way to win a fight. That, that does look very cool. It does use a lot of ammo. But it does look really cool. And I was on the bull when I was looking around this place. And I feel like I kind of looked at a lot of stuff. And also I feel a little bit lazy in regards to actually going through everything again. So there's a good chance I won't. There's a good chance Rage there. You know what? I haven't used one of these in a while. Let's just go look at this for a second. I'm sure those clear will figure everything out. It's fine. But it doesn't really look like I can do much with like, what I'm given here with, with the terrain. Just enjoy these sounds for a while. Uh, yeah, they're shooting at me again. 
God, that does destroy stuff, though. That is very nice. I guess I should be using this thing as well, huh? Because if I'm gonna lose everything, you might as well throw a couple of these in there. <laughs> this is very much the level of, oh damn, I have to use everything. <laughs> it's just very lazily just destroying everything. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I don't even care. I'm finally getting to use some of the weapons that are always a waste to use, like the cannon and this and the super saw and all that good stuff. Just shoot a couple of those in there. Is that enough to kill one? Yeah, it is. One is enough to kill a canoe. Just a perfectly reasonable experience. I should probably have used this thing more often on enemies like this, because it does just do the job very well. But it always... it's so difficult to tell when something is a waste to use and when it's actually a good idea. But I guess that's like the whole point of the game. So you know. <laughs> but it's nice. I'm happy on the one hand that I saved it all for this moment. Just so I can very easily destroy everything with my ridiculous arsenal. <laughs> it has its own little joy. Gotta take the little things from time to time. As we kill all... The red enemies are actually like the biggest problem right now, which is unusual. I mean, the red biomechanoids, fair enough. But the red, like, rocketeers, that's unusual, I would say. Uh, there's actually kind of a lot of enemies there. Like, way more than I expected. All things considered. Even with the chainsaw! Wow, even with the chainsaw. Let's see if this thing works today. Yay, it did. Very good. Yeah, they're actually just very effective. Like, on the one hand, I was sad that I didn't use these things more often, but now that I'm actually dying in this place at the same time... <laughs> uh, I actually don't mind it. I actually don't mind it. This is kind of a waste, though. Probably shouldn't be using it on red biomechanoids, because they will just die to five rockets anyway, and I can very easily shoot five rockets. That more or less do the same thing, so I probably shouldn't be doing that. Also, if the level exit is, like, nearby, which I assume it is, because we're just about near, the, like, the cathedral. And there's a good chance there's, like, a boss there or something, I guess, but... The odds of there being, like, a secret here would, I guess, be kind of low. If you're gonna lose it immediately, it's just like, eh. But at the same time, I still kind of want to look at all this stuff. I just want to see everything. Also... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I hope anything I've said during this video makes any coherent sense because I am just vibing. I, I'm just sort of going through the motions with this level I'm feeling. I'm not really trying too hard. I'm surprised there is actually a health thing there. Which I think I'm just gonna use. Put my health to 200 real quick. It doesn't really seem to be a downside to doing that unless I find a power-up here that does the same thing. That would make it kind of unfortunate, I guess. I'm just gonna go with the assumption that that's not gonna be the case over here. As we move on to the cathedral. Probably should have used more cannonballs now that I see the sheer amount of cannonballs in this place, but you know... I didn't think of doing that. And here we are now. With a whole bunch of cannonballs and not much more ammo for anything else. There is Basilica. Grail will be inside. That's probably fine. Oh. Just the murderous asshole I was looking for. How lovely to see you again, Sam. And how nice of you to bring your friends. So I can take care of all of you in one go. But you should know that I feel a kind of gratitude. You taught me something about this planet, Sam. It's loud and garish and annoying and surprisingly hard to kill. And that's precisely why it needs to die. It's a disease. And after I've killed you, Sam, 
I'm going to do my very best to wipe out every single... What's with the legs? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been thinking that the whole time. Why are they so tiny? They're freaking me out. I told you they were super weird. Never ask questions when you're not ready for the answers. I guess that is kind of weird. How very ominous. Yeah, it's never good when that happens. He'll probably come out as a four-armed giant or something. Ah. Nope, he's a butterfly. A cocoon. Let's huh? face this Kenny killing Ben that whole lizard. I think Kenny killing is exactly you how it should it, be brother. described. Uh Okay, that doesn't do anything. Good. Uh, probably just be using the auto shotgun or something like that, huh? That seems to be working on bosses pretty well the last time. Hmm, this is uh not quite working out the way I would hope. Yeah, I'm realizing. Should probably just actually hit a shot rather than. Oh, boy. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Serious Sam second encounter boss, the way he's talking right now. We need to find other approach, son. Uh. Oh, yuck. That cocoon thing is still walking around. Well, there he goes. All right, so I think I'm understanding what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I'm probably going to die this first attempt, let's be real. It's not going great. Also, not knowing where I was supposed to go the first time probably didn't help in that regard. But I also need to keep an eye on the weird cocoon thing, I guess. I'm stuck on the wall. <laughs> That's fair. Not sure which one I'm supposed to be shooting at. Like, so two of them get destroyed really easily, and I, I assume that's good. I just don't know. Mm. Oh, I can even shoot the projectiles that he shoots at me? I think? One of them got destroyed when it got kind of close to me, I think. You call this a battle, I've had more challenging Same. But... Alright, I just, before I die, I kind of want to see what happens when I use the C4, you know? That's really the only thing I got on my mind. Oh, God. There we go. I did some damage to him. That seems good enough for this attempt. Oh, that's going to take a long time to do, though. Alright, let's just quickly get this over with. <clears throat> get comfortable. Load the last save file. And we're just going to do it swimmingly. I just need to hit shots. That's really... Not even the cannon doesn't even do that much damage to him. That's surprising. And I'm also not super sure what the best way to dodge him is, but it seems just moving left. And then the moment he shoots, moving to the right. That seems to work just fine. It's a classic lava monster. Although then he has the lightning attack, and that just seems to hit me. Hmm. Is, does it just hit me? Actually, not sure. No. Oh god, he's running. Oh my god, he's so fast. Can I just put a whole bunch of C4 on you? Oh, maybe that's a, a big idea. Just put a whole bunch of C4 on this thing first. Oh boy. No, I'm just trying to put C4 on it. But it keeps running away. Plus the icons for where to put the C4 on it keeps... not being very visible. Uh... Let's say yes. So then we go to the Rage Serum. Put a little quick save in there just for good measure. Oh, this is a battle, I've had more challenging pedicures. 
Uh, let's just use this now. And hopefully he's just gonna go there right immediately. That would just be really convenient. There we go. Come on. Before the rage runs out. There we go. That did reasonable damage, I would say. I just gotta do that a whole bunch more times. <laughs> I'm uncertain if the rage thing even helped. God, you have so many things to say. You know what? Does that even mean? It means your ass is gonna burn. Should have thought of this sooner. I think I've plastered him. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> That actually did so much, oh my god. Uh, let's just quickly use one of these. I cannot, at present, get them stuck on this thing. Which is a little inconvenient. I think I have at least one though, and that might be enough. There we go. Alright, that's part one. Now we just need to deal with the big boy. Uh, hack drone. You know what? Just throw a couple of these out there. Guess there's not really a reason not to. Might actually do some pretty decent work against those other ones. Uh, just toss one of these. <laughs> Let's just use everything. Uh, life. Maybe use a rage serum. And then, uh, where'd he go? Hoping this will get the job done. He's still quite fast, even with the time warp, unfortunately. Plus, he's kind of hard to see right now, which doesn't help. <laughs> well, we did some damage. We did reasonable damage, I would say. Seems like a pretty decent place, at least. Uh, that's a fake. Um, he laughs so much. He's quite a happy boy. Good old R, come on. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I'm assuming the one that's actually doing the, the big attacks is probably the real one, right? I'm assuming I'm dealing damage, but I can't really look at his health bar and aim. Maybe it's just the one that looks different. That might actually just be the one that looks different, yeah. Uh, oh my god, Carter, please. This is actually a pretty tricky boss. All things considered. It would be fun if you could just throw like a black hole and just kill him instantly, but I'm gonna assume that doesn't work. I don't have any more health. Alright. Uh, there we go. Use extra life. It would be funny if you could just wait there. As you're dead. <laughs> Where did he go? He is so far away. What the hell? Is he just leaving? Um, don't do that. That's just actually really inconvenient if he just decides to leave. Oh, buddy. <laughs> just once. Just once game. <laughs> uh, the final. No, not. <sighs> Fucking Akraman just left. What are you supposed to do about that? <laughs> Maybe he'll come back. I'm just looking for ammo at this point in case he does come back, but this is just a very big inconvenience. I mean, I understand that I made a quick save after he lost his cocoon. And I guess I could go back to that. But this is just ridiculous. I don't actually remember where he went, either. Alright, um... I guess I'm gonna look around this place for a while, because this is probably the best time as any to just explore it for a while. But unexpected! Unexpected turn of events, I'm gonna call that. Nah! <laughs> As I said before, 
When the game presents technical difficulties to me, I get a little bit frustrated, and this is not an exception to that rule. I am actually so annoyed right now. <laughs> because I don't want to do all that again. It takes so long to deal damage to this guy. And he just sort of shuffled away the moment I died, not realizing that I still have just a bunch of extra lives. It's just... Uh... Like, theoretically, uh, if Akramon follows the same rules as I do, then eventually he'll just teleport back. The problem is that that may take hours. And uh, that's kind of a downside on that plan. It's weirdly dark in here right now as well. I can't really see that well. I guess it's getting kind of dark in the game with the sun going down and everything. But still... The music does not properly explain the situation I'm in right now. Like, one thing I'm curious about, next to the fact that is, if he's ever coming back, uh, is can I just leave this arena to go look for him? And so far, most of those answers are no. Unfortunately. I mean, I haven't tried that hard yet. But, for the most part, it seems like they got this place pretty well shut down from shenaniganry. Which is respectable. I understand why they would. I mean, this boss can more or less just go anywhere, so they could probably just lock it a bit. Although, I guess with the charging thing, if you get like stuck outside, then that would kind of suck, because you could just heal forever. But then, again, if you put all this work in to try and leave the arena... Uh, and then you're disappointed that you can't win anymore. I mean, that's kind of on you, I suppose. Now, I will say, if you use a gadget and the boss leaves, that that's a reason for frustration right there. That's perfectly understandable. That's just that's what we call a Tuesday in, uh, in this game. <laughs> it's actually Tuesday today, so it actually works for me. I'm going to say it's Tuesday so frequently, and everyone watching this on a different day is going to be like, wait, it's Tuesday? Oh, no, and then... A little, a little shock moment there. That's really what I'm going for. Maybe it's not even Tuesday when I'm recording. Yes, you don't know. You don't know when I'm recording this. I could be doing it on a Sunday. Everything I said so far could be a lie. I think I'm going to load a quick save in a second. And then probably just skip to when the boss is dead. Because I don't... I don't want to do that again. <laughs> um, if the boss can just leave. Uh, so, yeah. I think, uh, unless I can actually find a way out of here, which I'm starting to doubt. I'm starting to doubt the likelihood that I can just leave this place like Ackermann did. I think I might actually have to load a quick save. Which I'm surprised by. I didn't fully expect that to be the case. Maybe. Oh, well, there's still this place, I guess. No, I mean, maybe? With Rage Serum, especially, like, maybe you can get, like, far enough. Do I have any Rage Serum left? No. I I used that all. I mean, it was, it was a boss fight. That's why I decided to use Rage Serum. Because it was pretty effective against that worm we fought that one time. <sighs> Alright. Um, yeah, I'm just going to restart this fight. And I think I'll see you when either I... When I feel like it, really. Probably when the boss dies. Because I, unless something interesting happens during the fight, I assume it's just more of the same. But I guess we'll see that when we see that. Either way, I'll see you there. Alright, uh, yeah, this works. <laughs> Just use the chainsaw. <laughs> he died so quickly. <laughs> that was the whole fight. I just shot him 12 times with a chainsaw and all his health just disappeared instantly. <laughs> uh, I should have just done that from the get-go. Oh, the hero has defeated the villain. And now what? 
A one-liner? The perfect manifestation of empty human wit? Maybe a pun? An attempt to ignore the howling abyss with a ridiculous construct of macho verbiage? What will it be, Sam? With what hollow words will you immortalize this momentary triumph? I lost my shoe. What? That's hardly... Deconstruct that. You, my friend, are mad. But sometimes there is something divine about your madness. Just doing my job, father. Now let's get that grail and get out of here. Samuel, I am certain now it is not grail. Grail was intended to heal wounds of the world. This is something else. We came all this way. Let's at least have a look. perform ritual but I think it is unwise listen Padre if you don't want to do it me and my friend C4 can always do it our way no 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 no. That, that's fine please don't my way's faster it may be Catholic heresy but I feel bad enough that we blew up Vatican hmm to see avert the judgment of the saint Avert the judgment. Ah. What did he just Blind touch? The divine messenger. the mark of Saint Peter. Peter was crucified upside down. The Ark. I can feel its power. Ah, here's hoping it doesn't melt my face off. Stick. Do not touch it. This artifact was placed in the Ark to shield the world from its evil. He's right. Don't touch it. What the hell? Bruce Willis. Stand down, Stone. We're taking over from here. Brand, what are you doing? Sir, we succeeded. This is the artifact. Why are these pendejos pointing their guns at us? Oh, you people. You were so dumb. This whole fucking planet. Oh, sheep. No wonder mental is winning. You believe anything you're told. I didn't even need to invent General Brand. You already believed in him. He's that tough old bastard who doesn't play by the rules. But if we trust him, he'll do what needs to be done. So you sold us out. I recognize the true order of things. It's time for me to be on the winning side. Humanity had its chance. They should have joined Mighty Tahum, like the Kanum and the older races did. I will present this offering, and the power that lies within it as a tribute to our Lord Tahum, the Magnificent! And they say I'm insane. Huh. I'm not insane. I'm just a pragmatist. There's a hierarchy to the universe, and I am about to get a promotion.
Behold, I am the beast of the apocalypse, the lord of despair. I am the last human. Grant us strength, O Lord, before these the soldiers of darkness. For we struggle not against flesh and blood, but against <sighs> powers and priests. Silence, priest! Do you fear the word of God? <sighs> what does your God say now, Father? He says, fuck you. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard you can kiss your own asshole. You son of a bitch. I want this one gift wrapped. And the others? Feed them to the drones. I did kind of forget that that guy showed up at the start of the game game in like the prologue that's been a while ago i guess that is a thing that occurred but yeah that was chapter 13 uh that is on to god and uh, the boss left that's that's all i got in my mind at this point i've been playing for a while i've been playing for two hours uh rambling during most of it i feel like i didn't load the game that much right to be playing 96 minutes have i really such long tangents, or maybe the clock's just weird. I don't know. Seems odd to me. Either way, we found 22 out of 26 secrets, which is pretty good. I saved 50 times out of 5, so that's better than the previous level where I saved 105 times, so that's pretty good. And the next time we play, we're going to be playing Chapter 14, The Package. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.